Lois. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you for your good work, Madam Speaker. Always a pleasure. I see my, I saw one of my colleagues here, but I think she disappeared. Anyway, I, thank you for being here, Professor and Scott. Um, you know, I think as I just want to stress what the Senator said of, of what uh, more than a dozen uh, of, of the hundreds of busts and statues on the Capitol grounds, only 14 are women. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? Um, so that's one of the reasons I'm very excited to be here today. But I want to tell you a personal story. When I was a young law student in the early 1970s, back then there weren't very many students who looked like me. There were hardly any women law professors. In fact, only 4% of the, of the students in, law, in the law school were female. And this was a time before women could get credit cards. There were no laws requiring equal pay or equal opportunities in school. So, Madam Speaker, you won't be surprised, but I organized the women of my class, the few of us that were in the class, to go hear a lecture from this superstar law professor we heard about who was at uh, Rutgers Law School. We piled in a van, we took a two and a half hour ride uh, to Camden, and it was a ride that changed my life. Uh, we got to the classroom and we saw this tiny young woman who with a very quiet vo a voice who then proceeded to mesmerize us, mesmerize us telling us about how the law treated men and women differently and we left Camden that day on a new mission it was a to fight ready to fight for equal justice for men and for women and little did I know that just about 20 years later that young law professor would become the second female justice of the Supreme Court and that 50 years later I, the young law student, would be standing here, a member of Congress with the privilege of honoring that professor, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and her very outstanding colleague, Sandra Day O'Connor, uh, both who faced incredible diverse, in, uh, adversity and made remarkable and historic achievements, and I am very proud that future generations, that millions of visitors, especially children from all over the world, are going to come over, come through the Capitol. They're going to see the statues of these women and uh, hopefully uh, want to learn more about them. Uh, I thank everybody who was involved. I, I can't wait, in fact, uh, to bring my two little grandsons by one day and say, hey, you see, girls can do it too. Thank you. And I yield back. <laughs>